Okay, um, there's uh, ammonia and there's hydrogen, uh, not hydrogen, HCl, all right, uh, in a separate um, bottom flask, all right. So they were, then after that, what happens is they open the gas cap joint, all right, and the gases are allowed to mix. They say, what's the pressure of the resultant gas mixture? Okay, so this question is a bit tricky. This question is a bit tricky. Uh, theoretically, uh, you, you can see that ammonia and HCl, they are actually not in it. In fact, one is an acid, one is a base. So which means ammonia will be have HCl, all right, they are gases, all right, and they'll form ammonium chloride. Okay, they're going to form ammonium chloride, which is actually a solid. Okay, uh, the only thing about this question is you have to take note it's actually a reversible reaction okay this actually is a reversible reaction maybe you have learned, learned this in secondary school uh, actually this reaction is reversible okay so i'm just gonna say this so uh, typically if the volume uh, if um if there's no change in volume so we're gonna take it as a p because pv equals nrt right so i'm gonna take it as if volume doesn't change right pressure and moles are proportional if uh, volume and temperature doesn't change I think this question, uh, the temperature didn't change, but of course the volume did change because the, uh, once you open the gas tap joint, all right, um, actually the volume which the both gases can uh, move around has actually increased. Okay, but I'm just gonna take it as um, the volume didn't change first, all right. So I think pressure is proportional to number of moles. So you can see that um, there's three atm over here and four atm over here. So if they do react. And they react in the ratio of one to one, right? If uh, if they do react, I'm going to say uh, ammonia is the limiting one, minus three atm. So HCl also will react minus three atm, all right? So in the end, there's no more ammonia, but there's one atm of HCl, all right? So this is a solid, so I don't really uh, bother about it, yeah, because uh, we are talking about the pressure, so we're only looking at the gases. Okay, so. If there's no change in volume, the pressure will in the end be 1 atm. But the truth is this, um, this HCl, this remaining amount of HCl, in fact, it is at first the volume was 250, right? At first it was in the volume of 250. After the gas tap is open, it can move around in a volume of 500. Okay, you can see that it can move around in a volume of 500. Yeah, so if it can move around in a volume that's double, all right, I believe the pressure will actually half, all right, I believe the pressure is half. So if it's theoretically, it should be 0 0.5 atm, all right, theoretically, it should be half of 1 atm, 0 0.5. Uh, but take note, okay, this reaction is what? Reversible, okay, this reaction is reversible, which means maybe not all the HCl, um, I, I guess not, not, um, not three more or uh, three atm of HCl reacted. Probably less of it reacted. Okay, probably less of it reacted. So which means the answer has to be somewhere between zero point five and one atm. It won't be exactly zero point five. This will be marked wrong. Okay, why it wouldn't it be exactly zero point five? Because this reaction is reversible. So when we we calculated zero point five, assuming it was a straight arrow, but because because this reaction is reversible. It will there will be actually a slightly more uh, HCl left behind. It won't be one atm, right? There'll be slightly more. So it has to be between zero point five to one atm. All right. So this is a a bit of a tricky question. Okay, but answer it should be C. All right.